Which popular antivirus should you use in 2019? Let me shock you with my answer, which I learned from the CIA. Coming up next. Antivirus products are touted as tools to protect your computer. Here's the bad news. Antivirus products can be hacked. This is a very advanced topic. I'm going to explain the problem and then at the end of the video I will suggest a solution for what antivirus to use which can easily be understood even if you're not a techie in your computer. This means that if the antivirus gets hacked then you've just given the hacker root or highest privilege access to your device. If you didn't have a hackable antivirus in the first place then this wouldn't be an issue. The technical term for this is that the, the antivirus creates an increased attack surface. The CIA in a WikiLeaks document showed that all antivirus products can be hacked. So here are the major flaws of your common popular antivirus. Number one, an advanced antivirus is always listening it on the internet, on your device, not just when you click on a file. This is like a website on your computer. This antivirus website is actively capturing your internet traffic and then spotting files. If it sees an incoming file, it will then test it in a sandbox area to see if it's malware. If your advanced antivirus is acting as a website on your computer, then someone can attack that open website and look for flaws. There is always a flaw. If this website didn't exist, then you couldn't be attacked. Number two, an antivirus finds malware using something called heuristics. In other words, they look for a signature of a malware they've seen before. If an antivirus hasn't seen a malware before, something advanced programmers can easily do, it will sneak past the antivirus. There are so many tricks to accomplishing this. One of them is malware that never writes to a file, always keeping itself hidden in memory. There are so many cat and mouse games that can be done. Most viruses caught are actually the kitty hacker viruses. These are used by inexperienced hackers who do nothing but copy what someone else made. An advanced hacker cannot be stopped by this. Number three. Zero-day hacks cannot be stopped by an antivirus. The reason they're called zero-day hacks is because no one else has had a chance to work on defending against them yet. Number four, the antivirus testing malware in a sandbox can be beaten and in fact be attacked. This is the purpose of advanced attacks using tools called Metasploit. If the antivirus didn't have this sandbox process running with administrator privileges, you couldn't attack the user with this approach. So the antivirus actually provided a way into your computer with administrator or root rights. Number five, many antivirus products intercept your HTTPS traffic and actually install a fake root certificate so the antivirus can spy on your HTTPS encrypted traffic. Thus, you've just given permission to the antivirus to observe anything you do. Is this examination just being done locally or is it being sent to Semantic HQ, Kaspersky in Russia, or AVG in Eastern Europe? Here's the additional problem with faking the root certificates of websites. You actually won't know if someone is doing a man-in-the-middle attack using fake certificates that allow others to listen to your traffic. Number six, you're giving your antivirus more information and allowing them to possibly do sketchy things. For example, Kaspersky was blamed for spying on U.S. government facilities because any malware they found was forwarded to their Russian headquarters. Supposedly, this included forwarding of NSA spyware, which then fell into the hands of the Russians. 
whether this was an intentional bad thing or not is subject to a lot of questions. Since the NSA and CIA is putting spy stuff on people's computers, and then Kaspersky is catching the spyware, which can then be passed to the Russian government. How could the antivirus have been useful here? The reality is that antivirus products can lead to less safety, and the solution is to have a base product that can catch basic common malware just to keep those from spreading. The best thing to use for Windows is Windows Defender. It's free. Stop there. If you don't want to use Windows Defender, use something that is just uses heuristics on files. In other words, the most basic antivirus capability there is. Do not use advanced antivirus features ever. If you're on a Mac or Linux, use nothing. What you do instead is to have basic lessons in social engineering and understanding how someone can make you click something on an email or force you to download something from a website and then click on it later. Then learn about never being an admin user of your computer. Always log in as a user with less privileges. This will prevent the virus from sneaking in. Again, let me repeat the lesson. Dump the paid antivirus. Dump the advanced antivirus. All of them. Train yourself to spot malware. You will be tricked by social engineering. Be aware and you will be safe. If you screw up and get a virus, immediately reinstall your computer from scratch and start fresh. Be ready to always do this. Trust me, this is still safer than using an antivirus. Thank you.